Hello and welcome to the 2021 tutorial of Binance DEX and DEX stands for Decentralized Exchange. So what new features has Binance DEX added? Well they've added staking and bridge aside from DEX and wallet which we had before. Staking actually means that you can now incorporate various tokens from other blockchains say from Ethereum's native blockchain or from Polkadot and you can bring it over to Binance DEX and stake them with certain validators in order to generate passive income. And the bridge means that you can bring those assets over from those native blockchains as we can see here from Bitcoin we can create a tokenized version of Bitcoin for Binance chain and that means it's going to be much faster also for Ethereum, Polkadot, XRP and more as we can see here. Now in order to be able to check out the exchange on Binance DEX to understand how that works we will need to create a wallet and we'll do that in a moment and as we can see here there are two different types of tokens now on Binance chain so before it was just the BEP2 token but now we've got the mini tokens which is the BEP8 because it's too expensive to list a BEP2 token it actually costs somebody who has a, an idea of a project and to create a token it costs some 1500 BNB which is a lot of money considering BNB is over 40 bucks now so hence why Binance have come up with the idea of BEP8 for the mini tokens they take longer to actually confirm the transaction is not as fast it's not every block but the option is there right if you have an idea if you want to create a token you can create a BEP8 token and list it on Binance chain now if we look here at the governance section we've got the staking feature okay so with the staking feature it's exactly the same as with Polkadot as with other assets out there you basically just choose a validator that you wish to stake with and then you start to generate that passive income because you're delegating and of course you need to use your wallet to do so so it tells me here I'm on the wrong network I need to open the wallet and switch from Binance Smart Chain over to Binance Chain Mainnet and I don't even have a wallet at the moment we need to create one now the next point that I want to talk about here is the wallet. So we've got the Binance Chain wallet which can be the browser based extension. If you have Chrome you just click on this and basically it takes you to this page and it asks you to add it to Chrome. I've already done that so I can just remove it from Chrome if I want to but I don't want to do that because I want to show you how to create a wallet. And the second option is the trust wallet which is like a third party wallet that supports Binance Chain. And all the tokens on Binance of course. Then we have the Explorer here, the Binance Chain Explorer, where you can see your transaction on the blockchain just like we've got the Bitcoin Explorer, the Ethereum Explorer and so on. You can check the block, you can check your transaction to see if you've been sending your tokens successfully from your address to another address, be it to an exchange or maybe you're waiting for them to arrive from an exchange to your personal public address. And you can do that using this explorer here and there's also the Binance Smart Chain Explorer which is used for the DEX itself and of course the bridge feature which contains the information on those tokens that are being brought over from other blockchains from other native blockchains such as Ethereum, Polkadot etc or even Bitcoin over to Binance. So without further ado let's go to the wallet section to actually set up a wallet with the Binance Chain extension wallet right so here if we click on the tab I've already tab I've already pinned this to my tab here so now all I have to do is just basically create a brand new wallet so I could choose I do not own a wallet so let's click on that you enter a password continue and here it generates a passphrase for me so it tells me I should back it up it's a 12 word passphrase and you need to make sure that you write this down and do not actually save it on your computer somewhere because if if you get a hacker or maybe just somebody on telegram sending you malware they can actually steal that from your computer and if they do then they can get access to your funds of course now I can just copy this or I can get my private key which is not recommended so I'm going to copy it then we click on continue and now we need to, this was from a previous test that I've done, so let me copy this here. So now it's asking me for passphrase number two, passphrase number three, and passphrase number seven. So number two here is improve, so we need to type that in. Number three is wire. And number seven is rate. So we click on continue. And bingo, now we've 
managed to access our wallet and we've actually created a brand new wallet here as you can see i've got zero bnb but this is basically the default native token that gets added uh, when you create a brand new wallet now the good thing here is you can add any tokens here straight away and you've actually got an option of course you can filter them if you know the name but you've got an option to just scroll down here and look through and see which tokens you'd like to add so how cool is that even ontology has a version on binance chain so quite a lot of them here sxp etc right now if we go back here we can see our public address is right here at the top right we've got account zero and of course you could probably change this name to something more user friendly but account zero is by default so you can just copy this public address and if you go here and paste it you can of course use this public address now to send bnb or any other assets which are binance chain friendly or compatible say bp2 tokens for example or bp8 tokens you can send them over here to this public address from any exchange that supports those assets so that's how you're going to do that and this kind of goes hand in hand with my next tutorial which i'm going to be doing on how to use uh, Binance centralized exchange or how to use Bitmax or how to use MXC exchange so I'm going to be doing tutorials on all of those so that'll hopefully get you more familiar to how you can transfer funds from an exchange over to your wallet and in this case this address belongs to you you own the keys to this address and by owning the keys we mean the passphrase of course because you've saved that somewhere safe so yeah nobody can take that away from you now there are different features here you can actually export a private key if you're interested or so on or you can just send right send and receive is the option here so if you click on receive you can even select the qr code which you can then scan from your exchanges um, from the mobile version of your exchange because you can also use a centralized exchange on your mobile and then when you want to send the funds out you can actually scan the qr code with that uh, application uh, over here so that'll be good because of course if you do that then you can send funds over to your wallet straight away without having to worry about copying and pasting addresses and of course you can go to the send option here and you can choose what type of token you want to send so let's say you want to send it from the binance chain uh, it, then you need to enter the address it could be the exchanges address or it could be maybe a friend's public address so you paste that in here you choose the amount and you click send and that's it so it's very very straightforward here as we can see so if we click on this option here we can add more accounts uh, we can connect to binance.com as well if you want to you have the option of the hardware wallet say you have a ledger this is the recommended option because this is the more secure one the private key would actually be stored on your ledger and not in the wallet here on the browser extension and you can manage that account too if you wish you can export the private key from here or you can just create more accounts and then all of them are going to show up there so then of course you can switch between accounts by clicking on the top right hand corner uh, of the screen here where you see the symbol for a and of course activity means that all, all it shows you all of your transactions that you've done so very straightforward here so now that we have the wallet let's actually go to the exchange just to take a look to understand how it actually works here so let's go to BEP2 tokens, for example. Now, one of the downsides that I want to talk about here is when you actually access Binance Dex, the actual exchange where the order books are and where you want to buy and sell tokens, is that you will need to unlock your wallet once again. So even though you have created a wallet on the browser extension, it's not actually compatible like with MetaMask, where it basically asks you to sign or connect to binance dex directly and to kind of pair that information no you have to unlock it now the problem is here if you unlock it it will get to this page where you actually have different options the mobile wallet the ledger device the treasure device the key store file and the recovery phrase so you may be wondering what the heck is this why do i have to do this again if i've already created a wallet claudio well just to explain to you here because this may seem confusing especially if you're new to crypto is that when you create this wallet here on binance smart chain network it actually has an ethereum style address because it starts with a zero x anything that starts with zero x is ethereum based but of course it's compatible with binance smart chain in this case so we need to actually change here to the binance chain network which is a bit different so now we can see our address starts with a bnb which is reflected as the binance smart chain address now so sorry the binance chain network address so now we can copy this address and actually go here and paste it and here we can see this is how this address looks like so what do we have to do now we actually have to go here and we need to export this address 
So until we export the private key, which is going to be in a JSON format and download it, then we can't actually use the Binance DEX itself, right? Because we need to be able to upload the key store file here in this section and then enter the wallet password and then click unlock wallet. So once we do that, I've already uploaded the key store file, which I've exported. I've entered the wallet password. I'm clicking unlock now. And here, just give it a moment. It'll open up the exchange once again. And here we can see the balances section, the address. And here, if we copy this address, and we paste it, we can see it matches with this one here from the wallet, okay? So it's exactly the same address and it just shows you it doesn't matter which wallet you open it for, as long as the private key is the same or the key store file and the password, then you can unlock your wallet with all of your funds. So they're not lost as long as you have access to your 12 word passphrase or the key store file with your password. So here now we can actually, because we've got the balances section and all, we can basically change the wallet in here. We can export the key store file once again, if you wish. We can see all the different orders that we've placed here, the order history and so on. So basically, again, like I was saying, uh, all you have to do is like with uh, any, any other type of exchange, if you're interested to buy, say for example, straight away and you don't want to wait, you can just look at the smallest uh, sell order here that we've got, the, the lowest one, you click on it, you select it, you choose the amount of BNB you wish to buy, let's say 10 BNB worth, it tells you you can get 931 XRP on Binance Smart Chain or on Binance Chain worth of tokens, you click buy and that's it and then you just sign the transaction with your wallet and the password and no more. Now if you have a ledger device it is much easier because you just sign everything through the ledger, everything is more secure, you don't need to go through all this mumbo jumbo, you can just unlock using the ledger and then once you do that then it's pretty straightforward right so yeah i mean this is pretty much it there isn't much more to talk about here it may seem a bit complex at first and and a bit confusing because you have to switch between all these different wallets like i was saying earlier you do have the binance chain network which you're using to trade on binance dex and then we also have the binance smart chain network which is like an ethereum version of it uh, which you can use for staking, for example, if you want to stake to a validator, because remember, when you go to that staking section, it asks you if you want to switch to a different type of network here. So that's pretty much it. And if we go here to the mini token section, which is the BEP8, we can click, I understand here, and here we can see we've got a different range of tokens, like a whole lot of them here. So yeah, this one does take actually longer, right? To uh, We can see all the different transactions that took place, but it does take longer for this transaction or for the trades to actually complete on the BP8 version. It does say it's a mini token here, so you can't go wrong with this in case you're switching in and out. And again, you can see the order history, the trade uh, history and the balances as well over here. And of course you need to unlock the wallet once again uh, if you switch here to that uh, to that version which can be a bit annoying, right? For Especially for new people because they have to keep on going back and forth. So I can't reiterate enough how important it is to have a ledger because if you have that harder wallet you can just unlock your wallet from the harder wallet it's much much faster that way so yeah i hope you found this video informative as always let me know in the comments below if you have any sort of questions with relation to binance dex what do you think of the 2021 version so yeah that's pretty much it and please keep an eye out on my upcoming video on binance centralized exchange and how you can use that thank you for watching this video take care bye, -bye.